Good morning, just uh, keeping you in the loop. It's actually a bit of a break in the weather. We've just had six days of uh, absolute horrendous rain. I was lucky enough that some people gave me a little bit of a spot to to stay uh, out of the out of the wind and the rain because we got like 200 mil. It was ridiculous. So. Um, the guys at Hinch and Book Hobo just let me uh, sit in their yard and, and um, yeah, wait, wait out the rain and give me a shower and, and <laughs> rose, rose dinner. So if you're ever up this way, Hinch and Book Hobo, that's the go. Anyways, now we're going to just cruise down to the boat ramp and, um, yeah, I just, I don't know what the plan is, but let's get to the ramp first and we'll see what happens. Yeah, so like I was saying, huge rain events. So the water's very dirty here. We've got big tides as well, so that's going to be very dirty as well. And I'm not too sure where the fish go after major rain events like this. Like, it's it's almost like uh, the guys are saying wet season, but this late um, in the season. Well, yeah, nearly. Well, we're in, in autumn, so they should be getting 200 mils of rain. You know, so I'm not sure where the fish go and what they do, but I'm just gonna. I'm just going to hit lots of different locations and try and just see what we can put together today. I think the fishing's going to be pretty uh, scattered. Uh, it's going to be pretty difficult. It's just going to be bits and pieces. So I think that's what we're going to have to do today. We're just going to take what's off on offer and um, just work out what we're going to do. So the first couple of spots, uh, I just got to go over this um, over this bit of a entrance, river entrance here. It's a bit rough, so... Um, Put this down, I'll drive to that first spot. And uh, we'll see what we can make happen. All right, at this first spot, it's pretty windy out here. It's pretty choppy, so once that wind really starts whipping in here, all this chop is just going to turn to white caps. So it's going to cap out. Well, that was the biggest letdown of my fishing career, man. Look how... Amazing that looks. Not one bump, dude. That's that's actually kind of crazy. So I'm going to the next spot, man. That was that was actually massive, massive disappointment. Oh, next spot. Yeah, I just came over this river mouth here, and I'm just scanning around. Might find a thready or some barra or something, you know. Like it's gonna seem like for me anyway. It seemed like you're on a little bit of a wild goose chase because you don't find a lot like that um first spot you know like it looked amazing you know and, and it's you know like why wouldn't it hold fish but it might be there this might not be chewing water might be too dirty might be the wrong tide you know so you need to go back to these places three or four times i find and uh, before you can sort of write it off it's a dud spot or doesn't fish well on that tide so it, it is very time consuming you feel like you're on a bit of a wild goose chase but what you need to build up I, I found is that you need to build up like a list of where the fish go and what, what they do in certain conditions and that and you can't do that unless you're out there or someone's directly telling you like this is where where they are this is what they're doing so we keep scanning here I think it's a bit of a dud hey might be the wrong tide you know they might like a run out tide here rather than do the run in so a lot of fresh water that runs down from the from the hills and stuff here so it'd probably be a good start shallow there um good start to look in here around the mouth of this creek uh and the next little creek here um just to see if they're hanging out here or fresh water like do they chase the fresh water up here or do they go you know the other way or what 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 do they do you know so i don't, I don't actually know and that's all right like you've got to work stuff out and try and crack the pattern so well i honestly didn't see anything up this creek so just heading out and have a quick scan on the way back out just in case you miss anything but um yeah that's the way it goes sometimes there's a lot of fresh coming in um up the top of fields so just from the it's very dirty too, like there's a lot of tide pushing in, there's a lot of pressure coming out, so I thought they might be sitting there with meats, but no, yeah, the, the water clarity is just um, 
so dirty here at the moment, like it's ridiculous. But let's go and find a little bit more water quality and um, see how that goes. So here's a bit of indication of how much rain we had. You can see that um, red marker boy there. That's not meant to be there. It's meant to be the green one only. Make sure you've got a bit of local knowledge, man, because that would be very confusing. That would mean that you'd have to go through here. That's the channel, where the channel's this way. So, yeah, crazy. So it just started to rain like it hasn't rained enough. So I thought I'd just pull in here real quick um, and try and get a try and get a quick jack just to just to boost them around you know like I'm driving past it anyway might as well have a look and see if there's any jacks home so that's what I'll do here and then we'll continue our look at some of these other spots uh, I'll spend 15 minutes here and see if we can pick one up and boost the spirits so yeah, let's do it oh come on you are He looked at it. He looked at it. What's the deal? What's the deal, bro? You looked. Look, no touch. Looking deep in there, so I know. Let's just have another shot. See if he can. Oh, there he is on the second go. Oh, he did me. See what they do. Oh, I'm on a stick here. They just put me on a branch. And as soon as they get you on the branch, they just, uh, de-hook themselves and leave you on the branch which is what he's done to me right now but like he was pretty he was pretty oh he's sitting in there oh my god I spooked him oh he was just sitting there like almost like he was waiting for another meal <laughs> so I should just be able to pluck that off oh we a bit of stick there we go pluck it off Oh, there's one. Oh, damn it. Jesus. Came off. Man, he hit that with some pepper. He had some, but he didn't pop the hook, so he didn't... He didn't quite get it. Got to be one or two on here. Something on here. There's one. Oh, they're barely hitting them. Quick, get it in there. We're going to drift past here in a minute. Fuck, how's the drift? Too quick of a drift. There's one, there he is. Oh no, he stopped me. Oh, just fighting that current too. Oh. Usually a barrow sitting in this tree up here, so. Usually sitting in there, yeah. So, just put a cast in and see if it, it's in there. Yeah, <laughs> I knew it's in there. He's always in there, mate. I'm telling you now. <laughs> uh, hi, it's sitting in here. I might just have a put the motor down, have a, a little bit better look. And these birds are hanging around too. So there's there's bait. That's the reason I come over here because of these birds hanging around. So yeah, we'll just. A little bit of a squeeze, I think. See what's sitting here. So basically, a big sand flat here that drains off. It's almost like fishing for floodies. A few of them there, though. Whatever they are. There's a lot of bait there. Oh, there's a big barra sitting out there. Look at that. He's sitting out. He was sitting out here. Maybe I should drop back just a touch, eh? There's a fish, yep. What's that, a queenie or something? That's when I said I should drop back a bit. Oh, it's going off. Oh, maybe not a queenie. Hasn't, hasn't jumped. Doesn't feel massive. Little GT on the floody. <laughs> Look at that. It's amazing that you can see that on the sounder. You can see that little dude there. There we go, little Jeep boy. Little Jeep boy. Look at that. Amazing, I could just see them sitting there, eating those little fish, little bait fish. There was a barra out this side too, so there might be some some um, bigger creatures hanging around. 
Get him undone. Gone. And uh, we'll get him back in, eh? There's one. <laughs> oh, I love a bit of speed round, eh? <laughs> I love a bit of the speed round. The GTs love a speed round. I <laughs> love a speed round, eh? They float a prawn to them, they're not interested. Give them a speed round. Woo! The lightning round. Not the little fella, he's green as. <laughs> get you in the boat here. Get a look at ya. Woo! Another one. Another one. <laughs> Come on, mate, sit down. Sit down, you're going back in. You don't grunt at me, mate. You're going in. Oh, they're chasing the prawn on salt water. <laughs> oh, little suckers. Oh, there we go. Ready? Here they go. I know they're there now. I know that they're sort of here rather than here now. So, there we go. Oh, come on. Hook up. Hook up. Oh, no. Hit it. Yes. <laughs> Got in that time. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Oh, I pulled him. He might come back and eat it. Come on, hook up. What's going on? All right, I'm gonna change to a different hook. Obviously, they're just not not eating this enough to um, hook up. I got a couple on it, but you know, let's just see. Let's see what else we can. What else we can do here? Oh, look at this. Hulk prawn ready to rock and roll. It's more just the jig head, having a bit more of an exposed hook and stuff there. But uh, yeah, see how we go with that. There's one, yeah. Oh. Did he eat it? No, he didn't eat it. Still didn't eat it. He ate it that time. Oh, yes. I was casting the prawny. Old prawny. Give me a little. Down there, little fella. Come here, mate. That's why they're only little tackers. A lot of little tackers in there, say. So. Little tiny little bait fish. Look at that. She chucks something down there like that. Oh, the prawn got it done. The prawns seem to be getting it done too, though. Don't forget. So, yeah. Little fella. Woo! We get another fish out of that. No dramas. It's just up in here. They are. If something like nice comes along, like a queenie or like a bigger queenie or a bigger bigger GT or even a golden trevally, that'd be all be cool. There's a couple of barrow that swam past before, so I don't know. You never know. There's one. There's one. Yep. Did you eat it? Yeah, he ate it. Yeah, he ate it. Yeah. It's only a little one though, I think. Just pulling these little ones in. Good fun though, like they just must be... I saw them on my sounder, there was like hundreds of them down there. Just these smaller ones. Get out. Get out of there. Get out. Yeah, just a lot of those smaller ones by the looks of it. But um, just keep picking through them, see what we can find. See if we can find something special. There's one. Oh, yep. That's a little Trevally for sure. Yep. Little Trevi. Little Trevi. Come on, mate. Dime a dozen down there at the moment, hey? They're just, just chewing. They're just chewing. They're just going nuts. Just waiting for that something you know bigger or special or whatever to to come through and we'll uh we'll be sweet but at the moment having fun catching the little dudes they love a speed round <laughs> love a speed round they just love the current these things hey eh? no matter what size they are they just love current just eating everything Look at that. sometimes they're hitting these on the Oh, there they are, there. 
Getting over there. Oh, that one's a bit better. That one's a lot better. Unless he's just because he's got me in the current, but feels a fair bit better that one. Oh, he's off. No way. Oh, that's a shame, dude. He felt good, hey? Oh, I can't find that, mate. There's one. Yep, I set the hook on that. Didn't I? <laughs> Big F word. <laughs> Big F bomb. <laughs> Pretty much as soon as it hit the water and I was like, daydreaming, and then it just went dunk, and I went, yeah, set the hook on that bastard. Set that hook like American Bass Masters, mate, you know? Hey, about the same as what we've been getting. Let's just try it. Let's just try a jerk bait. Like a shallowish one, maybe. That's about the size of the bait and stuff. Just whether you get a better hookup rate or not, eh? Bit of both worlds there, but see how that goes. There's one. <laughs> Whacked the joke, mate. <laughs> Whacked it. That's pretty wicked. <laughs> Look at that. Yes, mate. Look at that. Big jerk bait bite. Cool. You hit that run in that jerk bait, eh? Yeah, a bit more this way. <laughs> <There's one. laughs> Whacking it. <laughs> Must just be pack attacks down there. He's wrapped up. Well done, son. But not look at that. Hooked him square as. Boom, boom. They just love it. Oh, this one's not having it, eh? He's just not. I know, mate. You're upset. You lost the game. I win the game. There you go. This one has not stopped flopping. Un unfloppable. Unstoppable floppable. Go with this bigger jerk, mate. Try this bigger jerk bait. See if they like it. This one. Oh, hit it. Oh, got him. Yeah, I got him. He's not really running though. That one. Feels like a Trev. Yeah, hey, little fella. Little Trev stuff. Oh, we go. Oh, oh. He just was not having it. That one, eh? Yes! <laughs> On the jerk and the pause. I just give it a big jerk and then a pause and boom! He's not massive either. But plenty of them. Stop, stop. Okay, he's not having it, eh? Go, little fella. Okay. Oh, straight away. Straight away, they're onto it. Don't even hit the water. Barely hit the water and they're onto it. There must be just pack attacks of them down there. Come here, turd. Hey! He's fat as, eh? Very fat. Woo! Straight away, like that. Come back and get it. Give him a little bit of speed, huh? There he is. On the jump, on the hop. Oh, he's on the surface, that one. What's he going? He's not having it. <laughs> he's right. He had to tarpon, that's why. Never really landed tarpon, only small ones. Look at that one. That's a ripper. Oh, he's just not having it, that fish, eh? Having it. He's just not having it, eh? He... Oh, my Jesus Christ, Almighty. Hey, <laughs> What are we doing, mate? Take a photo of this dude real quick. He doesn't look very, he's not very photogenic at the moment, but he just came in the boat and didn't stop fighting. So there you go, that's one of the better tarpons that I've ever caught. I don't think they get much bigger than that in Australia, but yeah, pretty, pretty cool. Get him back in. Oh, he's not. Oh, yeah, he's alright. <laughs> Bit touch and go. There's one. He's only a little, I think, that one. Shake him off. He might shake off that one. No. He's not shaking off, mate. <laughs> Can't just shake him off. Oh, it's a tough one. 
<laughs> it's a top of Jesus. Oh, he went flying, hey. Absolutely flying. It's another decent day. Hey! <laughs> I'm splitting that hook, mate. I got you good. <laughs> you watch him come in the boat, he'll just be nuts. He'll just go nuts. He's hell bent on getting around that trolling motor. Absolutely hell bent. Oh, that's a pretty good one, too. That's pretty cool. You're ripping a big old hole in your face more than it needs to be. So just settle. Thank you. That's a chunky one. Oh my god, these things do not stop. Stop. Worse than a GT. Worse than a GT, these things. Just stop, champ. Stop. <laughs> that's how you end up. Look, and he wants to go. He wants to go. <laughs> he wants to go. Here he goes. Ready? Oh, now you don't want to go. Ready? Go. <laughs> yeah, Jesus. Those things just energize the bunnies, right? Eh? Oh, that's it. I'm hungry and um, I'm kind of sick of uh, catching those dudes now. So I'm going to go in and have something to eat. Um, and that's a spot now that, you know, they weren't amazing fish, but there was tarpon and, and there was a couple of barrels that swam past too. So I'll stop being in check on that spot now. Thanks for tagging along and see you in the next one.